Having the freshest clams you can get is super important. It's one cod right there. Oh yeah. Guys are on double on eight. So tomorrow morning we're going back out local cod fishing, which is right real close to shore, which is uh, kind of a new thing here in Rhode Island. Typically when you're cod fishing, you're running 20, 30 miles offshore. The most important thing about cod fishing is bait. So having the freshest clams you can get is super important. So we could go to the clam store, we could go to the tackle shop and pay for them, or we could just dig them ourselves. So here we are knee deep in the water and we're gonna dig them ourselves. Looks like at least eight, 10 keepers and that was just a little test one. So now like, we know there's clams here. You see like he got seaweed on the ground here. Doesn't look too disturbed, not too worked over. It's springtime, probably the cleanest time of the year that you could be doing this. Bear belt just pulling them clams into the basket. Really good. Look at the size of that one. That's a beautiful hook bait right there. That's one cod right there. You got over here, you got a, a little neck, then you got a cherry stone, you got a top neck or a mid neck, and then you got a hog. Bigger size, beautiful hook bait right there. Last week and did some cod fishing and we're back at it again today. We had uh, nine fish last week, but only one was a keeper. Really two, but Ethan threw a keeper back. We're not gonna talk about that. So that was actually very slow compared to the prior trip that I made just with the kids and I, where we got a dozen keepers, including a big one. Right here, just two miles off the coast of Rhode Island. So we're back. We went and dug clams and came back out here and we're bound and determined to get ourselves some beautiful cod so we can make some fish and chips. Can't get any fresher than live, so we got the freshest bait on the day. Fish on. You got it? Nice, dude. That might keep. Missed it by that much. Doesn't feel big, doesn't look big. That's a fish. Target species. Another fish. Definitely undersized. Hi, buddy. Not a little guy, but it's another fish. I don't think he's a keeper. You wanna give him a kiss before he goes in? No? Definitely not? All right, me neither. That's the uh, first little bit of 
fish and chips on board. That's pretty cool. My first inshore keeper, I caught a few last trip, but the first one that makes the mark. Second inshore keeper, pretty cool. 23 inches, not bad. Oh, it is a tog, wow. nice. That's and a cool. tog, you have the same hook. Look at the same hook, you got a tog, you got a tog. Oh my god. First year. That's the first tog of the year right there, buddy. Wow, man, that's, that's impressive. That is very impressive. Keeper number three, I believe. Cool thing, bro. Oh, there you go, there you go. What do you got? Oh, wow. I don't think I've ever seen one of those guys before. Nice. Yeah. That looks like fish and chips. Today was fantastic. I'd either be out on the boat fishing or be in the office working. I'd rather be on the boat fishing, so can't complain, man. Got uh, several fish, several keepers. Rob's dreams of uh, some nice fish and chips is to be realized. Yeah, great day.